Ladies and gentlemen, Octagon MMA brings you Tip Sport Game Changer. Paradisa. Paradisa is only 25 years old, but he already has 23 fights under his belt. In the last three years, he has only lost to lightweight champions, Ivan Bukinger and Lozen Keita. In his career, he defeated fighters such as Rishavi, Farkash, Brikta and many more. In his last match, he knocked out Maya in 20 seconds. Now he is coming for Vlado Sikic's head. Vlado Sikic has 12 wins and only one defeat. At the age of 31, he is one of the hidden talents of Germany, but above all, the European scene. Sikic feels very confident against Ronnie. He took the match without hesitation and is good in all areas. Ronnie Paradisa is the number two ranked lightweight fighter. A win in this match could bring him a lot closer to a title shot. Will he succeed? So here we go, sunshine in the form of Vladimir Sikic, the fighter from Croatia based in Berlin, Germany. Out of that Spitfire gym, 32 years of age, Luke, and his rise to fame on the German scene was almost unseen before he was 10 and 1 10 and 1 in his professional record he then went on to the ultimate fighter during that in the opening round in sort of the qualification bouts and it was the mcgregor versus uh, faber season in the opening round he did something to his shoulder i've watched the fight three four times to try and see where something happened it's a really freak injury but that left shoulder lost him that fight he then came out and he injured it again in another in preparation for another fight and i believe he was set to fight norman park and then paddy pimlet and since then he's just struggled to get back on he won L lost one fight against lapolis and in his last fight he managed to get back on the win in the win column but this is somebody that at a young age people had highlighted as the future of german mma it was derailed by a freak injury but he says, I'm back. I'm as fit as I've ever been. I'm as ready as I could be. And now Octagon is here. I want to show on this platform that I still can achieve the potential everyone believed I had. You know, and it's interesting because, you know, he went 10 and 1, like you said, went on the old fire, all those things. But that, to me, was a very, very different era of mixed martial arts, an era that I was heavily involved in. And now seeing how the sport has developed since then, that is going to be the question for me. And the man who is the new wave a young individual that has, we know very, very, very well at Octagon in Ronnie here is, is representing the new age to me, the new wave of mixed martial artists. And for me, the question is, can Sunshine Sikic keep up with that new wave? We, we, that's the question that we're going to see asked here as Ronald Ronnie Paradisa makes his way to the Octagon cage. Yeah, this is somebody well known to the fans. And this potentially, if he wins this, he will set up that fight, fight, rematch with Keita. What a fight that was, the first one, uh, with a victory here. Now, you talk about eras of MMA. Let's talk about the difference in these two. 32 years of age of Sikic. He had the injury issues. In the time that Sikic has been away, so from 2015 to the current day, Ronnie Ronald Paradisa has had 22 of his 25 fights. In that time, he has fought the best of the best that Octagon have to offer. He's worked his way to the top, not quite reached the, the championship status, but he has looked as good as any fighter on the rise, as I have seen in the cage. And when you look at that last performance in particular against Felipe Maia, a 21-second knockout. He was switched on, fluid, loose from the word go, and devastating on top. Yeah, Paradisa develops every time he leaves the, leaves the cage. There's a, you know, 
I'm going to get a bit weird now, and I'm going to talk about anime. You know anything about anime? No, I'm about to learn some things so by the sound of it. <laughs> there's a program called Dragon Ball Z, right? It's Super Saiyans, all that sort of stuff. And what a Super Saiyan's mythology is and what they believe their ideology is, the tougher the fights you have, the more you grow and the better you become. So you seek out the tough challenges in life to become a better fighter. And that, for me, is what Ronnie, Ronnie Paradiso has done. He has fought the best of the best, including Lozan Kita, including two title fights. And he might have lost those fights, but he's always come back better because of it, the challenges that he's taken on. So he grows every single fight. And now at 25 years old, has a wealth of experience in 25 fights in the cage. And I'm really, really excited to see the development of his game as we enter this fight. Yeah, we look at the, the uh, tips for odds as well. Heavily in his favor, height and reach on his side. Let's go. Our next content is lightweight bout that is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. The referee in charge in the cage is Pablo Picante Tosh. Let me introduce you both fighters and we will start in the blue corner. He's 32 years old, stands 185 centimeter tall, weighed in at 70.4 kilo. Represent Spitfarge in Berlin and the coaches in this corner is Zlatko Turina and Emerson Falcao. He has a professional record of 14 fights, 12 wins, one draw and one loss. Fighting out of Croatia, Vlado Sunshine Sikic. In the red corner, he is 25 years old, stands 188 centimeter tall, weight in 70.7 kilo. He represents Switchisko and ground system Nitra. The coaches in his corner are Boris Topčić, Matuš Arpaš and Erik Kováč. He has a professional record of 23 fights, 15 wins and 8 losses. Fighting out of Slovakia, Ronald Ronnie Three round, five minute, 25 rules. Fight, active, fight, fair. Touch gloves. We go back, please. Set and ready. We have final instructions from our referee, Pavel Picante Tosh. We have Vladimir Sunshine Sikic. He is in the white shorts, blue corner, taking on Ronald Ronnie Paradise. He's in the black shorts, red corner, me, Brian Lacey, alongside Luke Barnett. This is Munich, this is Octagon 39, and Sikic waiting no time. Yes, charging forward, but charges straight to the left hand of Ronnie. Very aggressive start from Sikic. And, that, oh, oh. and both of these guys are very well versed in every part of mixed martial arts. You know, Sikic a brown belt on the ground, but also has great striking. Ronnie probably got the size advantage, nice little trip, and manages to muscle his man down to the ground. Regains guard very quickly. This is going to be a high level, fast pace, you know, very, very transitional fight. We're going to see lots of mixed martial arts. And Ronnie Paradisa makes the way. It's a struggle to make that lightweight. Always does. I don't think he's missed weight yet. But the rehydration, last time we saw him in the cage, in the afternoon of the weigh-ins, he was 10 kilos up. That was the same day as he weighed in. So we're looking at somebody that could be potentially 12 kilos, maybe 13 more than when he weighed in, Luke. Which is huge at, at, at lightweight. Normally you see a 10% discrepancy in weights. So that's like a healthy weight cut or a good weight cut. That would be 77 kilos here. Maybe he's 82, 81, maybe 83. No, huge, huge for the weight. Um, and, but still a young man, so can, can manage to do it at 25 years old. As he continues in his career, I wouldn't be surprised if we see him compete at Walter White. Very active guard off the bottom there from Sikic. Yeah, Sikic does well, but gives up his back as oh, he stands. Oh. And Ronnie Paradisa climbs onto the back as well. This is, oh, and he's set the hooks. He has a nice deep left hook here. Slowly breaks that base, rolls to the back. Really good work here from Ronnie Paradisa. And I already mentioned the brown belt in the corner of Zikic, but body triangle, long limbs. And oh, he's jumping over. As he tries to get oh, in. Ronnie Paradisa looking for the finish this here is in very Munich. Tight. He could get it. Zikic is trying to fight that right hand, but the squeeze, the squeeze of Ronnie Paradisa is real. Maybe sw switching now to a short choke attempt, but not quite under the chin. Oh, guts that one out, Luke. That looked painful. You can see the grimace on Sikic's face. Yeah, it was across the jaw rather than anything. Trying to twist within that body lock. Going to end up on top oh, here. Wow. Great work from Sikic. So and the crowd respond. Yeah, the German crowd getting behind. This man has adopted Germany as his home country. Needs to be careful with this triangle attempt, though. 
very rare you see someone able to twist their hips within within the triangle guard but Ronnie Perry this is so long it almost gives that amount of space right exactly one of the advantages of having long legs is, is setting up those body triangles but also you can leave a little bit too much space Control the wrists here, needs to be careful of armbar, triangle setups, pushes away, gets oh. back to his feet. What a fight, what a fight already. Two minutes, 20 to go. Sikic stepping straight back into the fire. Look how calm and cool Ronnie Paradiso is in these positions. Yeah, maybe going to look for an outside strip, but sh shrugs him off in a southpaw stance and has that left hand. Like you said, Luke, what a fight. I can see that left leg twitching of Paradiso, maybe that's going to come up. Off the, the, the stiff right jab. Oh, the right leg came up there, a sick Great, jab. beautiful. Lean back left hand. Basics, but beautiful. Sick is charging to the fence now. Oh, sick is, you know, very, very aggressive in this first round. Really coming to life early. And this fight's been incredible so far. Again, going for the outside read. Leaves a little bit of space. Great awareness and escape there from Ronnie Paradisa. Oui, and lands that left hand again. It's like a laser. He's timing it though, Luke, because you've got this forward pressure. You've got a very aggressive fighter in. Oh, oh, the right hand, then the left. Now Paradisa backing up Sikic. Yeah, Paradisa sent something there, waiting for his moment. He can't miss when he throws at the moment with those straight shots. Oui, he ducks under and throws that left hand again. Yeah, oh. Sikic smart. Good fire IQ there, but gets stuffed. Look at the hips there of Paradisa. Now getting that chin strap under the bottom. Yeah, likes the dash choke. Does Paradisa, but gives oh. up and it goes to the back. Slick, fluid, transitional grappling there from Paradisa. And this is what I said about the, the, the different generations of martial arts. You know, Paradisa is just so slick in between the in between the grappling, the striking, and Sig Sigic got he's got great. You know, you can see in each, each individual martial art, he's very, very effective. Great guard, managed to escape the back already. Very effective, but Paradis is just one step ahead in these transitions so far. I also think there's a much more cerebral approach from Paradis. You've got a very emotional Sikic. He's coming out, forcing everything, whereas Paradis is reacting, making some good decisions, and now finishing the round on top. What a five minutes that was, Luke. Yeah, it's been the best, best round. We've seen tonight so far in my eyes, extremely exciting and talented to both these men. Sigic struggling to get back to his feet, taking a moment to breathe and wearing the marks from the shots from Paradisa as well. A fantastic bout between the two you saw there, Sigic's corner. One guy in there, Attila Korkmaz. I very much rate him as a fighter as well. He's one of the teammates, training partners of Sigic. But Paradisa, like the evolution we're seeing with him, you, you're talking about him as a new generation of martial arts, but for me, it's also his mind, right? The decision-making in those positions is phenomenal. Yeah, you said cerebral. That was the word that you used, and I would just use natural. You know, he naturally flows in between. It, it just seems effortless for him. Look, even there, jumping on the back, effortless attempt. The guy tries to shake him off, and he just puts in that deep hook, then even gets reversed here, but... Not worried about it. He, uh, he's an extremely cerebral and an effortless man to watch fight. He's very enjoyable. Sikic first off his stool, stepping towards the center of the cage. Now we are set and ready for round number two. Here we go, Sikic. Blue corner, Paradisa in the red. We'll see what the pace is like in this second round. Furious in the first. And Sikic was the one in charge of that pace, always coming forward. But the more he waits, I feel, at the end of the shots of Paradiso, the harder it's going to be for him. He needs to be active. He needs to be aggressive. So good tactical approach so far. Nice kick right in front of us here at the commentary box. Returned by Ronnie. And oh, again. Nice to the body there from Ronnie Paradiso. I'd like to see that kick come up high. Paradiso now going for the straight shots, Luke. You saw that with the first combination he threw. It was... Straight down the middle, there you go again. He's so effective with that straight left hand. Hasn't missed it yet tonight, I don't think. Oh, again. Oh, that, look at that, that's, that's damaged the eye. Wait, that instantly damaged out. the eye, you saw that. Paradis just... it, jumps in with the knee. Oh. Hey, I love that slim left hand. Great work, now just pouring that jab out. And that, that right hand, instantly you saw a reaction from Sikic. There was some damage on that left eye. 
Again, natural, effortless defense. Oh. And could have called his man back to his feet because he was dominating, but no there, problem. There's Goes the cut. In. You can see right in front of us, there's the cut under the eye. The left eye there is Sikic. Yeah, was putting on a real show case, case a masterclass from Ronnie here at the moment in this second round. And he can keep this pace and pressure. We saw it in the Kiata fight over five rounds now as he's in the ascendancy in round number two. Yeah, lots of forward pressure here, putting him up against the fence. It's very difficult to stand when you're in the full guard. So if you stay in the full guard position, although you, you can you know, look for submissions and attempts and try and uh, control your opponent, it's very difficult to actually get up. And this is one of the developments I was talking about between the two generations. Now he apparently lets him, gives him the space. Nice shot there, coming back inside the guards. Now, now in the half bar fly, oh. apparently he's a very comfortable. Oh. Oh, that was a big shot. The referee almost steps in there. That could be it. Oh, there he is, Ronnie, Ronald Ronnie Paradisa. With that combination, could have sealed his next shot as the lightweight champion Lozen Kieta. Effortless victory. See him just walk off, no problem. Shrugs it up on the shoulders. <laughs> I, I think for me. One of the best performances I've seen from Ronnie. In that second round, he just he just was untouchable. He made the adjustments. He went for those straight shots. It was the jab that caused the damage under the left eye. And instantly, there was a change in demeanor as well from Sikic. Paradisa felt that and then just piled on the pressure. Amazing finish once again. Yeah. Nice debut, though, from Sikic. You see him here. I mean, been out for a while, came back, gave everything in that first round. Just, oh you know, a tough fight to come in and fight against Paradiso as your debut octagon. And let's look back at some of this. These are the straight shots. Look at this, Luke. It, it was just pinpoint accuracy. From this jumping knee, he dominated. Nice elbow attempt. And just once he got on top, he just landed one shot. We'll see it in the moment right here. Bomb. Not that one. There's one other that comes down. It really does change the demeanor. There. The referee comes around. There you go. That's the one. And once he oh. was getting these shots in, it was... You can see him turtle up here. Great work from the referee to step in early because Zikic took a real beating in that second round. That was you can big. see in the stats, 49 significant punches. Now, Paradisa, you cannot argue. I will watch that fight all day long, the rematch between him and Keita. He's earned it, right, Luke? He's earned the right to step back in there uh, with the lightweight king. And you've seen Keita here many, many a time have effort of victory, but Paradisa has given the toughest opponent in a fight so far. But now we pass it over to Mr. Andre Novotny to make the result official. Ladies and gentlemen, we know the winner. After two rounds and two minutes, eight seconds in the second round, ground and pound, the winner coming from the red corner, Ronald Ronnie Paradiser. Rony, congratulations, gratuluju. Uh, Vlado se ukázal být velmi odolným soupeřem a hlavně v prvním kole tě několikrát možná i překvapil. Určitě ano, překvapil má. Jak jsem mi pretočil, že kokos už to mám, že mě to škrtě není sudně. Kejta, furta, to teraz toto. Musím víc popracovat v těch úděroch, aby jsem nemusel tam chodit vůbec do toho škrtěňa. Čiže jsem rád, jsem rád. Thank you, Berlin. You better find, I, I know it, tak. Unavený, unavený jsem. Uh, Ronny je říkám, uh, first of all, thank you Berlin, you are really nice fans, fans. and uh, I was surprised that he can survive the uh, choke. I was, I believe that uh, it will be it, but Keita and now Sikic survived, and I have to be better in this kind of techniques, and he surprised me that he was really tough. bei allen heute, die hier als Fans mit dazugekommen sind und hier die Kämpfer lautstark supportet haben. Es hat ihm sehr, sehr großen Spaß gemacht. Und er war sehr überrascht, was Sikic für ein harter, taffer Gegner war. Er hat gemeint, es war schon vergleichbar mit Lausanne Keita. Was hast du noch einige Pläne vor sich? Ich habe keine Pläne. Ich habe gesagt, es ist auf euch, ihr könnt mich nicht mehr machen. Ich werde euch einen guten Tag geben, wie dieser. Ich gehe ein bisschen weiter nach vorne. A keď to bude Kejta, bude to Kejta. Keď bude behať hala bala cez vahy, tak to môžeme niekto iný. Dýrška, Kohut, je mi to úplne jedno. Som pripravený, som ready. A sakra tvrdo makám na to, aby som dokázal vyťaziť. 
Uh, I don't have any plans if it's gonna be Keita in my next fight for the title. I'm ready for Keita. And it's gonna be next German fighter, Dishka, Dirška. I'm ready for him. It's up to you guys and I'm ready to perform. Okay, also wenn er gefragt wurde, was seine Pläne sind, wer jetzt als nächstes kommt, hat er gesagt, er ist bereit, sowohl für den Titelkampf gegen Lausanne Keta, es gibt aber auch noch einen interessanten deutschen Kämpfer, nämlich Konrad Dirschka, gegen, der, gegen den er kämpfen könnte. Ihm ist es egal, er ist bereit für beide, egal wen man ihm zum Kämpfen hinstellen möchte, er wird auf jeden Fall abliefern. Okay, that was Ronny Paradiser, one of the winner. Thank you, Ronny. Dankeschön, Ronny Paradiser. Ladies and gentlemen, Octagon MMA brings you Tip Sport Game Changer.